welcome back. This is going to be our last video in Somerville. This is basically, I wanted to see, you know, what would happen to The Sims or how I imagine if I continued playing this neighborhood, I would have taken their lives and kind of gone with it. So this is just kind of a fun video. I already did my overview. It's a cute neighborhood. Definitely should play it. But yeah, let's just jump right in jump right in. So this is originally the Fox family, which was Lisa, the much-hated Bill, their daughter Chloe, and then their two twins. Well, as you can th see, things have changed. Come on now, Fox family. Also, I'm trying to do this with a 12-pound tabby cat in my lap, so or not even on my lap, he's on my arm at this point. So Lisa and Bill did get a divorce. Lisa hasn't really changed too much. She did quit her job as a substitute teacher. And I like the idea that she runs the farm. Like she has a like tomato garden kind of thing that she sells local produce to the grocery store. And she just kind of is living out her little cottage core fantasy. She married a townie because the townies in this neighborhood, I'm pretty sure are custom they all have like names and interesting faces. She married Jim Galvin, who is just a nice all around kind of knowledge sim guy. He's an animal linguist and they get along great happily ever after. She's no longer miserable all the time. Now the twins are Bill's children. Dorian, who has grown up to be a teenager since it's like 15 years in the future, he would be about 15. And we have little Veronica. As you can see, I cheated for all this because uh, no one's got time. Veronica is so cute and has so many freckles and she's my favorite. Uh, <laughs> not to play favorites, but I do. Lisa and Jim did have one more child, little Forrest, who has an interesting eyebrow. I noticed that with a lot of the kids that are born in this neighborhood, their eyebrow, like where it meets their nose is like really bumpy. So I put some glasses on him so you can't see it. But he's real cute. He's a total farm kid. He's probably going to take over the farm. Whereas Dorian wants to be a Hall of Famer. He wants to be a famous sports star. He's not staying here. And Veronica, she wants to kind of be an astrophysicist kind of thing. So that's where the Fox family ended up. We'll see Chloe and Bill in a moment. But yeah, that's if I kept playing them, that's probably where they would have ended up. Lisa clearly was unhappy. Bill had the want to break up with her and it was locked, so the creator kind of was giving that indication of you should break this couple up. And so that's what I did. So let's check out the Gold family next. As you can see, lots of changes here. I didn't change the Sims that I made over too much unless like it warranted it. So like Helen got a bit of a change just because she was in sweatpants and as she moved up her career, I can't see that flying. So yeah, Alex is still, I don't know why he's got a phone stuck on him, but he's same outfit. He, I just gave him some wrinkles cause he's older now. And then Helen got an outfit upgrade cause her sister is a fashion icon at this point, so she got an outfit upgrade. There's no longer crime stuff going on. Alex is now a relic liberator, so he's very Indiana Jonesy, and I felt like that fit his aesthetic. Like he's kind of a con man, but his wife is a cop. She's the chief of police. She's not going to tolerate that. So the compromise is, well, he gets paid to go take relics. I did have to move the family out and back in because for whatever reason, one of their children disappeared and I couldn't find them. So you notice some things, the move objects, Trump didn't make stay for whatever reason, like the car, whatever. So they have three kids. They are all named after fictional detectives because I thought it was funny. We have Seely, who is named after Seely Booth from Bones. He is a very pale child. I don't know why he's very pale, but he just, it kind of pleases me that they've just got this pale, awkward, nerdy kid. He's cute. And then they have Dale, who's named after, I think, Dale Cooper from Twin Peaks. Also a cute kid. And 
his twin sister, Dana, named after Dana Scully. So we've got quite the variety. They had kids a little bit later. She wanted to work on her career, but overall they're pretty happy with life. We'll see Ethan a little bit later. But yeah, a happy ending. I, I went for happy endings. I was not about being dramatic for no reason whatsoever. Which I like about this neighborhood because you can very much go dramatic. Or you could not. It's just what you want to do. Now Kaya, I'm very excited about her life. As you can see, she does have a child. Uh, but Kaya is a romance sim. She really didn't want to get married. Briefly, she had an engagement want pop up, but she also had the engagement fear. So I think that was more her liking the idea of it rather than the reality of it. But yeah, Kaya is now a flamenco master. She's almost a prima ballerina. She has an on again, off again relationship with Bill, but it's very clearly he doesn't live here. This is Bill's son. And I named him Meru. As you can see, this is what I was talking about with like the noses and the eyebrows. I've noticed it with a lot of the kids. They seem to kind of grow out of it when they get older, but just the child stage is a little bit awkward. Awkward. But Mero's pretty cute. So I'm, I'm happy with him. And Kaya was ha like, she didn't roll any fears. She really seems to love her son. And so I'm under the impression that just the way that she's rolled wants and things through this process, she really did want to have a son. She just doesn't want Bill around because Bill isn't great. And so she's stopped the partying. She's going to achieve her goals. And along the way, she has her little Miro to be with her. And I like him being a little ballet kid as well. Like she probably expected to have a daughter and then she had a son and she's like, okay, that's fine. He can also be into ballet. So, this is part of the Marley family. Obviously, Chris was a teen when we last saw him. He is probably in his 30s now. I don't know if I actually edited his job. I might have to do that real quick. But I see him as he became, you know, he went to college. He did, had a successful sports career, got injured or just got old and decided to move back to Somerville. Now, he lives with Victoria. They are, I didn't even give them makeovers. I just moved them in here, but I like the idea of they broke up. They went their separate ways. They went to college. He recently came back after like a sports injury. Victoria came back maybe because who knows? Some sort of romancy novel reason. And now they're back together. But I do like the idea of her being like, an art therapist. I don't think that's really an option in the career, but like around level five. And then he's currently unemployed because like I said, injury of some kind. So yeah, they recently got back together and they're like, you know what, let's try to make this work. So they're living together in kind of this nicer area of town and we're gonna see if they are able to make it work. I should have at least made over her outfit, but I'm not going to. Nope. Because like I said, I'm not keeping this neighborhood, so I'm trying not to get super attached, which is very difficult for me, but I have too much other stuff on my plate, okay? I can't keep it. Uh, they live next door to Ethan Gold. Now, Ethan was one of two children in the neighborhood, so obviously, if I didn't pair him with the other child in the neighborhood, we would have had to bring a townie in, and yeah, I like the idea of the princess and the nerd. It appeals to me, so he is in a relationship with Kelly, and that's Kelly Marley. I didn't really give them jobs either, but I think that he very clearly gets into the science field. Ever since he was little, that's what he wanted. So a scientist of some kind, probably astrophysicist again, or something of that nature. Kelly has always just wanted to be a princess. So I don't, I don't, she has toy making as like a want, so maybe like she continues, you know what she would be a really good, like a Disney princess impersonator. Yeah, no, that's actually canon. She impersonates princesses at parties and makes toys. Boom. 
So yeah, they're... I mean, I didn't put them in a relationship, but I can see those two getting together and staying in town. Maybe they'll be part of it developing a little bit more from like a sleepy mountain town into having like a full-on science center because we've got multiple sims now that are super into it. So that's this area. We'll go ahead and check out the Cupcake family. I actually didn't do too much with them. I just grew up Adora and Adora's set to take over the bakery so I don't really need to go in there. But yeah, she's super cute. They didn't adopt any more kids. I rolled for that because I was like, eh, why not? So let's check out the Spell family. Does it mean that I'm not checking out Adora? We don't really need to. You saw her. These two as a couple I really like. I just think they work in a weird way. Like, it's very business arrangement, but I think they do genuinely like each other. Did I actually get them married? Yeah, I did. I didn't have a party. Whoops. So yeah, Stefan continues to be a writer. By now he's probably written seven or eight books. Heidi has a fashion line. That's what she does. She's very well known. She's probably named Spell something. They have one daughter and her name is Adeline. She is now a teenager that she had. Heidi had her right away, just get it out of the way. But she's kind of, she's kind of a wild card. She wants to play poker for a living. And I think that's magnificent of her. And they have no interest in having any more kids. It was just more Heidi like sealing the deal, making sure he wasn't gonna get rid of her because Heidi knew that it was kind of questionable. She was definitely re like in a relationship with him because he did have money. But at this point, I think that they like each other. They respect each other. They're all in love, and now they've got their lovely little daughter, and they don't need anything else. Yeah, I, I like Adeline. I, I'm very tempted to take some of these sims and put them in a different neighborhood. I'm not going to, but, like, I am tempted. <laughs> I'm tempted. Okay, Summer Family. I don't know why it's showing William's still there. He does not live there anymore. I thought about leaving him there and having him be kind of like the son that just never, he the failure to launch, who just plays his drums all the time and annoys his family, but I didn't. So I did have to decide if Carol and Elizabeth were gonna stay together. I actually left it up to a dice roll. I was like, okay, do they stay together or not? And it said they stay together. So they did stay together. They're older now. They had their let's stay together baby, Henry. Who's kind of miserable, but I think it's because he's a loner. He's super cute. He's like a dapper little gentleman. I think he's the kid that his dad always kind of wanted. <laughs> he's afraid of the fish dying in an aquarium, but yeah. I think he's a chip off the old block and Carol is very happy with his son that he kind of only wants to claim that son kind of thing. I think he's proud of Victoria that she's pulled her life in a direction that he can kind of brag about, but well, we'll see William. And yeah, so I feel kind of bad for Elizabeth, but at the same time, like she just, I feel like she was not willing to give up life in a luxurious house, being the mayor's wife. She was just too scared to give that up and to live her truth, but she is absolutely stunning. And who knows, maybe she has very discreet affairs. We support her. Honestly, I think Carol would support her at this point. As long as nothing got in the way of his career, he's cool. Alright. So over here, I moved in the Fox family. This is Chloe and William. Chloe being Bill and Lisa's oldest daughter and William being Carol and Elizabeth's son. And of course we have Screech the dog because I did not age any of the pets. It was not happening. So I didn't set up their house, but I didn't even put her in the right career. I imagine that they're both in a band together. He plays the drums, 
she does vocals and bass, they probably have someone in town that plays guitar just so it's full. They recently had their first kid who was kind of an oopsie because they had no intention of having any kids, but you know, they're they're happy to have her. They're not sad about it. Her name's actually she's named after William's mom. Her name is Betty. Again, you can see even as a toddler, she's got that brow thing. So I would watch out for that in the, this neighborhood because it's prominent. <laughs> even tried a couple skin tones and it's it's prominent. So yeah, they're living their best life, but they're also at this point again in their 30s so that they're like all right it's fine we can be parents we can go in this new chapter of our life and see how that goes they're not married i don't think that they have any intention of being married she's in the cassandra goth dress that someone made i can't is it senate i don't remember who made it but that's which the one we should have gotten and we, we did not and yes he's got guy liner on because of course he does of course he does so yeah that's them their band is not super famous, but it's enough to keep them afloat. They've probably released a couple albums, that kind of thing. And then we have Ben Marley, who is the father of Kelly and Chris. He probably should be an elder at this point, but I let him be like, he's just a much older adult. That's all. Keep vaguely hearing noise in the background and I'm just hoping it's the puppy and I'm not like gonna get murdered because <laughs> I'm home alone in the house. <laughs> so yeah, he married a townie as well. He married Megan. Her last name's Phillips, but now it's Marley. They never had any kids together, but she's a pretty sim. And yeah, I think they probably had God, I got a hair in my mouse. They probably have a really good life together. He is probably higher in his career than that. I'll give him that. Like, he's not one of those people that's super obsessed with his career, but yeah, he writes horoscopes. And she's a celebrity chef. It all works out. If I really wanted to put effort into this, I would have made over all the houses, but I was like, uh, no. Because <laughs> then I would be attached, and then there would be no getting rid of it. There would be no stopping me. And our last family is actually Bill. He lives alone. He still is in the same career. He hasn't moved up any. He lives opposite end of town from Lisa, and as well from Kaya. Kaya's like, um, you can be over there. I don't think Kaya has ever publicly admitted who her son's father is, and I don't think Bill acknowledges that as his son or is allowed to, but he still lives in the opposite end of town. So yeah. That's, that is Somerville. I do recommend this neighborhood if you're looking for a CC free neighborhood to just kind of chill in with not a lot of families. It's super fun. The only thing I would watch out for, like I said, is that eyebrow ridge thing. It gets a little, gets a little much, but they're still cute. So yeah, thank you guys for joining me in this little adventure into Somerville while I'm gone. We'll be back to our regular scheduled programming, which means no videos Mondays and Thursdays. And yeah, let's get back in the swing of things. And if you like this video, please give it a like. Gotta, gotta throw that in. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.